Hello, I'm Ken Hockenberry. Me and my wife love to play a game called cribbage, but most cribbage boards are too small or have too many tracks, so I decided to make my own cribbage board. Anyone can make one, come along and I'll show you how I did it. The first step is to lay out the track. Use a graphic software to draw the track layout and then print out the pattern. You might need to use two sheets of paper and splice them together like I did. The next step is to glue the pattern to the wood. I choose to use a white oak board I bought from my local hardware and I'm going to cement the pattern to the wood with a spray on cement. Next, I'm going to use my father's old awl to transfer the hole locations from the pattern to the wood by aligning the point of the awl with the hole location marks on the pattern, and then striking the awl lightly with a hammer, thus leaving an indentation in the wood. I found the best way to drill the pegging holes is to, one, break a 1 8 inch drill bit off so when it's chucked into my drill, it will be its own depth gauge, and two, use a hand crank drill. With a hand crank drill, I can keep the bit fairly straight. Take your time, get yourself a good TV show and a can of beer. You've got 245 holes to drill. Now after all the holes are drilled, you'll want to remove the template. I found lighter fluid works the best for removing cement. Squirt on a generous amount of fluid all over the template and work the paper up with a knife. Add more lighter fluid to the wood and rub the cement off with a rag. After that, sand the board with 150 grit sandpaper and finally vacuum out all the holes with your shop vac. I bought some sticky back felt off of eBay to attach to the bottom of my cribbage board. Lay the board on the felt and rough trim around the board to get a general size. Then peel off the backing and press the felt onto the back of the cribbage board. Finally, trim off the excess close to the edges. Now the final step is to draw on the graphics. With a pencil, lay out the lines indicated on your template. Use a ruler to help draw the straight lines and freehand the curved lines. After all the lines are drawn, go back over the lines with a black pen or a black drawing pencil. This is the finished cribbage board. Some of the holes are out of alignment, some of the lines are a bit off, but this is my first wood project since high school and I think it's a pretty darn good cribbage board. My wife and I are going to have years of fun playing on a cribbage board I made. Thank you.